Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to be doing a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 Teacher Workshop series. It's number 42 on the CSET, Multi-Subject Math and Science Teacher Certification Exam in California. It's going to involve ideas in geometry with similar shapes. We have this problem here. You'll notice they give you in this geometry problem a diagram, along with a question that describes the diagram, and then some answer choices. So take a few moments now, pause the video, and study the diagram, read the question, and look over the answer choices real quick, okay? Pause it, unpause it, because we're going to jump in and we'll work through this. Uh, first, uh, I'll start with uh, reading it over. It says, use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. And they give a diagram. Now, I'm hoping when you were studying it, you saw that this problem involved, you know, a map. And this is, some, this is a representation of some map of... And it has, uh, you know, maybe this is land, maybe this is water. And definitely when you, when you read over the question itself, that's described, that's, that's confirmed here. You know, we have land, we have water. Okay. It also goes into, just looking at the diagram, though, maybe you saw that there were triangles here, like a little triangle here and a, a bigger triangle here. So when you see that, you should be thinking about triangles, similar triangles. Maybe we're dealing with similar shapes. Now, similar shapes are two shapes. The angles correspond to each other, meaning the angles are the same, meaning this angle here is the same as this one here. So those are equal. Angles are equal. But sides are proportional. If you look at this diagram, the base here of the small triangle is 4, and the side of the small triangle is 3. While the base of the larger triangle is 4 plus 2 is 6, we don't know what that missing side is here, but we do know they're proportional. All right, we have the question. Before I set up the proportion, let's just read over the question. Um, it says, to find the length of a lake, surveyors measure the distances shown such that uh, triangle ABC and triangle ARS are similar. But that's pretty much what I was able to figure it out just by looking at the diagram closely. Okay, I'll read on. If RS is equal to 3 kilometers, AS is equal to 4 kilometers, and uh, SC is equal to 2 kilometers, what is BC the length of the lake? Which is this missing shape here. Now, I'm not saying that I was just able to, I was able to look at the picture and, and necessarily come up with what they were going to ask 100%, but I was definitely able to look at the picture and sort of pull out a lot of information and be really prepared so that when I read over the question, whatever I read over, it's reinforced with observations that I've already made by examining the picture for 30 seconds. So I want you to be able to do that. All right, so we're dealing with similar shapes. We know that the sides are proportional, so we're going to set up a proportion to solve this. We know that uh, in terms of uh, if we're comparing the side to the base of each triangle, for the small triangle, uh, it's 3 to 4. And to the big triangle, it's x to 6. We want to solve that for that x. We could do this in a bunch of ways. We could do a bridge strategy. A bridge strategy says, how, if these two uh, fractions are equivalent, how do I go from the 4 to the 6? What would I multiply the 4 by to get to the 6? And maybe some of you say, hey, you multiply by 1.5 to get to 6. If that's the case, which it is, you'd multiply the top by the same amount. You'd increase the top by a factor of 1.5. And that, if that was the right answer, which it is, you do 1.5 times 3. And you can pause the video now, do that calculation out, or... Just follow along. That's 15, carry the 1. 3 plus the 1 is 4. I got one decimal, so it's not 45, it's 4.5. That's one way to get to the measure of BC, which is equal to 4.5 kilometers. We could do, what's another way? 
Well, when we were doing a problem before and in a bunch of other videos, when we're given proportions, since this is equivalent to this, we can do um, cross multiplication, which is another valid way, which means I would multiply these out here and these values out here, and they're going to be equal. So this is x times 4 is 4x, and 3 times 6 is 18. Solve for the x by dividing by 4. I get x is equal to 18 divided by 4. Whatever the quotient is of 18 divided by 4 is going to be my answer. Well, what is the quotient of 18 divided by 4? If I didn't know, I would set up the division problem, and I want you to pause the video, pause it, do this workout, unpause it. 4 goes into 18 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. Minus the 16 is 2. Drop down to 0. 4 goes into 25 times evenly, so there's no remainder. The answer again is 4.5 kilometers. So when you have a problem like this, take some time, study the, the diagram and the question so you can set up this diagram. Remember that similar shapes, the sides are proportional. So your primary mission, your first mission is to visualize it. Your second mission is to set up the proportion. And then finally, you're just trying to solve for x. Okay? All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.